it's Sheree. What's up? Back with another video. I am here to give y'all the tea sis. Come on, girl. <laughs> I'm here to give y'all the tea on the very new products from Isha Natural. I haven't heard anyone talk about these products. This is going to be the first review on YouTube. Y'all know one thing about me. Y'all know one thing about me. When I'm in my new release bag, I'm in my new release bag, and I'm so happy to partner with Isha Natural to bring y'all this video. When they first reached out to me, I'm gonna be honest, I was like, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. I was prepared to turn down a coin, but when I tried these products, I mean, this is six day hair. Get into it, <laughs> get into it six day hair we have a lot to discuss if you are new here and you've never seen my face but you like my face so make sure to subscribe so you can stick around give this video a thumbs up a like goes such a long way to support my channel these products can be purchased on ishagirl.com as well as on the isha girl amazon storefront i will leave all the links down below Clicking my links and purchasing through my links lets Isha Girl know that I sent y'all over there, that y'all are interested in these products based on my review. It keeps content like this coming. We love us a sponsored queen, and I would love you forever. But enough long talking. Let's talk about all these products. Let's get into it. According to the brand, these products are suitable for all hair types, from loose waves to tight coils. And we're gonna see about that. <laughs> we're gonna see about that. These products have a fruity floral scent. I can't really place the scent, maybe gardenia, but y'all know I'm no fragrance girly. I'm sure my girls, Denise or Alexis, would be able to tell me what these smell like. Girl, they have a base note of. <laughs> And the dry down, I have no idea. Let's start with the shampoo. This is their Curl Hydrating Shampoo. It's supposed to hydrate and clean the hair. Honestly, y'all, based on the ingredients of this product, I didn't think I would like it. It does have a surfactant that I don't like using on my hair. I have used it in other shampoos and it left my hair feeling really stripped. Although the product would say it was hydrating and moisturizing. My hair always kind of felt like hay. I was really surprised by this shampoo. When I applied it to my hair, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of scared because my hair kind of tensed up a bit. It had that shampoo feeling and I was panicking. I literally was panicking in the shower, but I told myself, calm down, just let it ride. And I washed my hair as normal. It had great suds. You really don't have to use a lot. It has a nice, smooth, silky texture to it. Honestly, it's a really nice, shampoo and when I rinsed my hair out my hair actually felt hydrated if you're looking for a nice shampoo that's going to clean your hair it's not going to strip your hair then this is a really good option now let's get into the curl hydrating conditioner y'all this conditioner is one of the if not the one of the most hydrating rinse out conditioner I've used in a long time this is one of the most moisturizing rinse out conditioners ever i will go on record to say that i'm not i'm not really ever impressed by rinse out conditioners i can kind of take or leave a rinse out conditioner but this <laughs> this baby girl this is so good and y'all know i do not say that lightly when i tell you it detangles moisturizes and conditions the hair huh this label does say that it's silicone free, but it ain't. It is not silicone free. It does contain amodimethicone. Amodimethicone is a type of silicone that actually rinses off from the hair. It doesn't tend to build up like other silicones. It is water soluble. I'm definitely not anti-silicones. I definitely do not demonize silicones. Silicones are perfectly safe. My hair is the shiniest, healthiest my hair has ever looked. And I've been using silicones for the last six to eight months. I just need them to update the labels. But I also need us as consumers to just be smarter consumers. You always wanna make sure you're reading the ingredients or product that you're using, just to make sure that they include the ingredients that you want to use. Honestly, I'm just going to let the cat out of the bag. This is my favorite product. For me to be impressed by a rinse out product really takes a lot. I would even go to say that this could potentially 
be a deep conditioner just because after I rinse this out, it feels like I deep condition. It's just so, so moisturizing and hydrating. Now let's talk about the heat protectant. This is the heat protection spray. Each girl doesn't tell us how much it protects the hair. Usually products will say up to 400 degrees, up to 450 degrees. This doesn't necessarily say that. Maybe they have that information somewhere. I wasn't able to make contact with them before I sat down to film. If they give any information, I will include it in the description box or I will pin a comment down below. But I did want to make note of that. They don't make any claims of the degree in which it protects the hair. I just wanted to make note of that for y'all. For me, the takeaway from this product is that it's actually super moisturizing. Often when you use heat protectant sprays, and this one is literally like a spray. There's no, there's no emulsion, there's no cream, it's literally like water. Um, I hate the spray. The itemizer on this, horrible. I don't know if I got a bad one, but the spray is stressful on this. I would definitely use another spray or I may got a bad one, I don't know what that's about. but. The hydration on my hand right now, right? Y'all know I'm a heat styling natural. I use a lot of heat protectants. I've used a lot of sprays over the years. This is moisturizing and that's kind of hard to come by. A lot of these products make your hair feel sticky or they make your hair feel like straw or like hay. This is actually really moisturizing and that's impressive to me because I don't really like heat protection sprays. I more go with like a leave-in or a serum or something thicker. Y'all know I like my thick products. But as a spray, ain't too shabby, y'all. This is actually really good. This is actually really good. I definitely want to keep testing this. I haven't tested it as much as I have the other products. Definitely will report back even more so. But if you're looking for a moisturizing heat protection spray, my experience with this was really good. Now let's talk about the leave-in, another product I've used several times. This is their Curl Moisture Leave-In, and it's supposed to give, it's supposed to be a moisturizing curl primer and detangler. What I do like about this leave-in is that it does contain hydroxyethyl cellulose, which gives great hold to the hair without using something like guar gum or xanthan gum. Guar gum and, and xanthan gum are... Uh, gelling film forming ingredients that a lot of formulators use as a holding agent but they can tend to flake on the hair we've seen that in my other reviews here on this channel I find that it gives an effective hold without all those flakes and gunk and I love that for me so I was really excited to see that ingredient in particular every time I've used this my hair has been soft I can say that you're going to get moisture at least for a week this is day six and my hair you can see my hair it's not dry my hair is actually really soft even six days later first time I use it I used way too much because my hair was so tangled I didn't I didn't pre poo that wash day but my hair was fairly tangled so I found myself adding a lot of this and too much like as I was applying it I was like bro <laughs> this is a bad idea I knew it was a bad idea but I needed to apply product because spritzing my hair wasn't working and I didn't want to use a tool I just wanted to use my fingers so I had to apply a lot of product and when you use a lot of products with the rev air is going to flake I've noticed that when I'm using my rev air and most importantly because this product has like a styling component which is the hydroxyethyl cellulose my my hair didn't get blown out I still had a lot of like curl definition and kink to my hair even though I did the same process like I always do with the rev air the blowout wasn't giving. The blowout definitely had a lot of little curls running through. That just speaks to how defining this leave-in is on its own. Not going to probably get the blowout results. Again, maybe you can just go in with a lighter hand than I did. Definitely do prefer this, like how I traditionally style my natural hair, which is after I condition my hair, allowing my hair to dry down for like an hour, then going in with this, um, the oil and then the smoothie and then I was able to get great hair my first day hair looked great and now on day six my hair still looks good um, so that's how I prefer using this product solid leave-in the moisture is great um, I have no complaints about this 10 out of 10 honestly now let's talk about their styler this is the curl defining smoothie 
and it is supposed to moisturize and define curls. I believe in it does contain hydroxyethyl cellulose, which is going to help with the holds. So these together are definitely going to give you pretty good holds. I've used this product almost up, y'all. I've been using this product for several weeks now, like I said. I've done two out styles, some refreshes, and a wash and go. I mean, a wash and go, I probably use almost a damn the whole damn jar um so that's not fair to say how many uses you could get out of it if it's a twist out or a braid out you gonna have it forever um honestly if i didn't attempt to wash and go i would still have so much of this product i don't i'm not sure if we want to talk about the, the braid out or the twist out first or we're going to talk about the wash and go let's talk about the wash and go just because it was a flop i definitely applied more than i i would have if i was in the shower and i just don't think even in the shower that it has enough weight for me i have kinky curly afro kinky curly hair i just need a product like a gel really to weigh my hair down from my hair texture it's not going to make the best wash and go i ended up having a flaky wash and go the definition was all right but it was definitely flaky because i had to use a lot to try to get that weight but if you have looser hair than me if you have silky hair instead of cottony hair or like a cloud like type of hair i definitely would recommend you try this i think it's going to have hold for somebody those with loose waves those with with silky curls if you're the type of person that likes cream only wash and goes or you're the type of person that likes doing foam wash and goes but you want something that has a little bit of holes and moisture underneath that's not like a leave-in this is going to be a great product as well i think this is going to work as a great wash and go for somebody that somebody just ate me it just doesn't have quite enough hold now let's talk about the braid out slash twist out because that's how i think this is probably going to work the best if you have hair like me first time i use it i use it as a um twist out on blown out hair wasn't the best best blowout to begin with like i said i use way too much of the leave-in it was all right pretty good twist out but where this really won for me is on the refresh this product just works amazing to me on old hair so once you, your hair is already styled if you use this alone or with some oil it's really just going to give you bomb definition it takes your twist out from cute to bomb it's just a perfect refresher for me then i use it again for a braid out where i apply the leave-in and then i went in with some oil i allowed that to marinate as i was going through my head and in every section i went in and applied this for a braid out i think i did like 11 braids and that braid out also turned out good on the first day I really like this product I've really been impressed with it it's hard for me to be impressed by creams because creams typically don't have enough hold for me I always have to layer them with a mousse I think this would be even better with a mousse but I don't absolutely need to use a mousse right like I said this is day six and I haven't applied a mousse I've only used this as my sole styler and I have so much definition with mousse I know this is gonna go crazy this has great hold for a cream. Definitely one of the best creams I've ever used, dare I say. Definitely the one of the best creams I've used in a long time. I definitely would recommend this. This is going to go up there with one of the other creams I've talked about on my channel. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. This is going to up, go up there with that. I really like them just as much. Like, even with my favorite cream, I don't think I get this much definition. I don't think I do. Not without no mousse. Usually my favorite cream, I have to pair it with a mousse. But this, I didn't have to. And I still have bomb definition. So I'm going to go on record to say this is one of my favorite creams of all time. Definitely will recommend it. I'm, it's going to make my favorites of May and June. It's just good, y'all. This is just good. This video has been long enough, so I'm going to shut up. Definitely let me know what product you're most interested in. If there's a product that you somehow may want to know more about, I'm not sure how. Because I feel like this video has been very thorough. But if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns, definitely drop them down below. Thank you again to Isha Girl for sponsoring this video. We love us a sponsor queen. But I'm always going to give y'all the real. And I hope y'all appreciate it. 
thank you guys so much for watching be well happy growing happy styling and happy hair love i'll talk to y'all later peace y'all bye